welcome to another edition of Craig's E-Liquid Reviews. Today we're going to go over juice freshness and what you can do with some juices that just don't taste very good anymore. Or they didn't taste good to start with. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, some juices can last one to two years on the shelf life with the ingredients that they have and PG and VG and the nicotine and so forth. So, how do you know if yours is bad? Well, a couple ways you can tell is Lots of, lots of times when juice goes bad, it'll oftentimes get really dark colored, especially if it was fairly light to begin with. You'll definitely notice a, a change in the color. Uh, another way to tell is if your ingredients inside are starting to separate and you shake it up really good and it just doesn't mix. They're still separating, just little clumps or something in there. Get rid of it, that's bad. If it just doesn't taste like it's supposed to anymore, or if it tastes, if it wants to taste good and it doesn't taste good anymore, that's a sign it could be bad too. If you're leaving it in a really hot area or out in the sunlight somewhere, that will cause your juices to go bad quicker. So, what you can do with juices that don't taste good are you can take some. I've ordered so many juices that. And I've, I've mentioned this in previous videos that, you know, it's the reason I'm doing the reviews is that I, I've watched reviews, I think I'm going to get a good liquid, I go out and I purchase it and I get it home and it just doesn't taste very good at all. You know, it'd be close, it's vapable sometimes, sometimes it's not, and it's just like, what am I going to do with that? It's going to leave it sitting around forever or am I going to do anything with it? Should I give it to somebody or is anybody going to want it since I've had it opened? So... What I've come up with is that if you have juices that you don't like the flavors of very well, or you just find yourself not vaping it very very often because you, you just don't like it, well, what you can do is you can take some juices that you do like, and you can add a little bit of that juice to your good juices, as long as it doesn't distort the flavor of that too much, and you can still vape it and it doesn't bother you. That's one way of getting rid of them. Another way of getting rid of them without wasting them is to purchase some flavorings of your own. You can do this at um, various websites that carry uh, do-it-yourself flavoring kits and things like that and separate flavors. You can go on Amazon, you can go on eBay, you can go on anywhere and buy flavors. So you can add flavors to your bad liquids and sometimes you can make them taste better. You just want to remember if you do that, you want to add a flavor that's going to be complementary to the flavor you're adding it to. So you don't want to add like, per se, root beer to lemon, uh, lemonade or something, you know. It's just make it similar. So you're gonna add, say, cherry flavoring to some cheesecake e-liquid that you didn't like, you know. So, and with, actually with stuff like cheesecake and, and you know, very base flavors like vanilla, cheesecake, some custards that don't have a lot of flavors other than vanilla in them. If you don't like them, you can add a lot of flavors to those to those e-liquids and make them taste a lot better, uh, easier than you can some of the other ones. Like if you have honeydew, it's really hard to cover up honeydew. Matter of fact, you're not going to cover it up. You might be able to add to honeydew, but honeydew is one of those strong flavors. I do not like honeydew. I do not vape honeydew. I don't like it. Some people love it. That's great vape away. There's lots of them out there. There's just so many out there that have honeydew that I've tried. I don't like anything. It stays in your tank. I can't get it out. Once it's once it's in my coil, it's in my coil. I've tried washing them, burning them out, different things. It doesn't work. So, that's a couple of things you can do with some bad liquids. Just always remember that instead of throwing it away, just see if someone else would like it or use it before you throw it away. And Really, that's all I have. It was just a quick tip guide thing for you to, to know that you can do stuff with your liquids before you throw them away and to, how to tell if your juice is bad. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get back with you if I can on uh, answering any questions you might have. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe. I usually have giveaways going on from time to time. Right now I have a giveaway going on for a bottle of Cosmos Custard. You have to be a subscriber to win. 
so subscribe below and that's all I had for today so until next time take care of yourselves have a great day and peace out